now let us discuss about token passing token passing is one of the controlled access protocol we have three controlled access protocols such as reservation polling and token passing uh, in token passing the stations will be arranged in a ring fashion like this a ring fashion we can use any one of the topology it is our choice here for explaining this concept i am taking the help of a token ring so likewise we can take a token bus or some star topology or mesh topology we can take any one of the approach okay uh, so here we have four stations we can call these stations as devices or computers also okay here for every station there will be a predecessor 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 there will be a predecessor station as well as successor station so predecessor station means the station which is present before a particular station whereas successor station means the station which is present after a particular station if we consider station 1 for station 1 the predecessor station is station 4 why because before station 1 we have station 4 for station 1 the successor station is station 2 so likewise if we consider station 3 for station 3 the predecessor station is station 4 why because it present before station 3 for station 3 the successor station is station 2 okay and the next point is here the token token means a special frame so what is token token is nothing but special frame a special frame called token will be circulated around the ring here the point is if a station has token then only that station can send the data so let station 1 has token let station 1 has token now station 1 can uses this channel in order to send the data after sending the data station 1 sends the corresponding token to its successor that is station 2 so likewise let station 2 has some data to send station 2 can send the data only if it has token so let station 2 has token now so now station 2 can send the data after sending the data station 2 can forwards can send the token to its successor so here with the help of the token we are avoiding the collision we know why we got the collision when multiple stations trying to send the data simultaneously we will get the collision but here no such problem occurs here at a time only one station can send the data here we have only one token station 4 can send the data only if it has token so while station 4 is sending then no other station is allowed to send the data why because we have only one token so let station 1 has some data to send but it has no token station 1 has no token so in that occasion station 1 has to wait until it receives token from its predecessor that is station 4 so after station 4 sends the data it will passes the token to its successor that is station 4 so now station uh, uh, its successor that is station 1 so now station 1 can send the data so that means here here the station has the data but it has no token in that occasion the station has to wait until it receives token from its predecessor state okay so here what will happen after sending the data 
the corresponding station will forwards will sends token to its next to station so let station 2 has some data as well as it has token so now what the station 2 will do station 2 will sends the data to station 3 after sending the data it will sends the token let station 3 has no data but it has token so now what the station 3 will do station 3 has no data so it simply it immediately it immediately forwards the token to its next station it sim it immediately forwards the token to its next station why because it has no token okay so likewise the token will be circulated in the ring fashion so this is about uh, token passing 